Good morning, Sandra here from Atelier Vintage Rose. It's Saturday morning and I would like to participate in the hashtag Set More Makes from Gillian Norwood. And I am so happy to be back. Uh, my mom's surgery went great. She is already up and running. <laughs> well, not running, of course, but uh, she had a knee surgery. And thank you, thank you, everybody, for your thoughts and prayers. Thank you so much. She's doing well. Uh, she's uh, at home now and um, yeah we have the weekend off so and that's great <laughs> I could finish some projects I had to finish this project I'm going to show you and um, I also am busy very busy doing some I will show you briefly doing some uh, Valentine things but um, I have to finish that this weekend so I'm going to post another short video I hope to for the Valentine's things but thank you very much for all the best wishes for my mom again she's doing very well uh, she has two new knees now and uh, our goal is or her goal and our goal is to uh, go thrift shopping this uh, this spring so uh, yeah we hope everything goes well thank you and uh, I will show you the back right now made another loaded bag well it's not that loaded but it is loaded <laughs> uh, it's loaded with nine cards nine of my uh, what I called quilting cards or I don't know I have another name for it but I can't remember that I made the bag from one piece of paper the paper isn't that thick so it's a little bit more flimsy but that's okay I also made a little uh, rosette um, on a clothespin so it says enjoy it and I used some tulle and some bling in the middle I also used the bling here and I decorated the back just with a simple uh, piece of bling here on the sides and a little bit of um, lace on the edges yep. and I made this uh, bow from a die that I have it's just with a uh, um, pin inside then you close it off and I'm going to put some um, ribbon uh, on the bow and that's how I'm going to tie uh, the present I will put a picture on the end uh, that you can see how I decorated that I made these uh, cards for in the bag put the back here these are the cards that I made. These are simple designs from uh, three or four pieces of paper. And I just cut them in pieces. And I decorated it with tiny little uh, stripes with a black pen. And uh, some bling here. And there is a little bit of cheesecloth underneath everything. And half of a doily die that I have. And these are pictures from the internet. So that's the first one. It says time for cake. This one says time for cake as well. This one says enjoy. Congratulations. Enjoy. Party. That's another design. And this is yet another design that I uh, did. It says party. Hooray. And as you can see, it's in threes. It comes in threes. I hope that shows on camera. Wait. I will see. Um, it comes in threes, so you alternate those paper. You just cut out the middle design and you alternate the papers. So uh, this is half a sheet of every uh, piece of paper that you see. Half a sheet of 12 inch, so 12 by 6 inches. And that's how you come up with nine cards. As you can see, these are three of that design. And these are three of the square designs so those are the nine cards that i made and then i also made a little uh, post box and this is a little bit different this is a die that i have uh, my new die and i saw that uh, it opens on the bottom let me see if i can open it on camera of course now i can't <laughs> but it easily opens on the bottom and then you can uh, i will decorate it on, on the on top with I think something like a postcard or something but I have to uh, finish that but yeah she can put 
I can also leave it like this and she can put uh, money in it. So I just thought as an extra, uh, this is for somebody who ordered this for me and um, I thought this would be a nice little extra to give her. So this is how I put it in the bag. I made the bag a little bit wider this time. It is almost six and a half inches because I wanted the envelopes to fit. And as my new cards that I buy, the white uh, cards that I buy, have bigger envelopes. The envelopes have grown. So I needed to make my bag a little bit bigger and that is easy to do. I will leave the link to my tutorials for the bags in the description box below. So yeah, this is how I'm going to package it. The bow will be on top. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you next week. Bye bye.